Um, that doesn't look like a very good live. Is there an issue with the... Uh... What the heck? Webcam? Is it on? Is it off? Um, everyone Does should be able to see everything. Turning? The, the webcam is not working. Oh, this is going great, folks. We're having we're having the best uh, time ever. Oh, people come over as well. Yeah, people are coming over, oh, and lovely. we've got no screen. <laughs> this appears to be turning into a podcast. Uh, if you can hear us, um, I uh, don't know what's going on. Is there something over there that would? No, no, there is nothing. No, no, as in the laptop settings. No, I don't think so. I don't see why this is. No, that's not. You can see us now. That's interesting. We what? can't see. We can't see. We, we can't see us. That's really weird. Can you? Really can you all weird. see us? How bizarre! We yeah. can see. Do you want nothing. to look in your phone? Well, that's what I'll do. I'll go on my phone. Um, is there? Can you post a link in the other chat? Um. Hold on. Why isn't this working? What isn't working? We can see you. Okay, this is really weird because we. Well, what we'll we can't do, see what, what you we'll can do see. Is I'll put the live on here. But if you can just let the folks know that we're over on the other videos. I don't know where the other videos are. Oh, it's been a disaster, folks. Oh, live event is over. No, live chat is no longer available. That's helpful. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we are in slow motion mode. Yeah, yeah, that is, that, that's deliberate on the chat. Just try and keep it manageable. It just means uh, people can't post repeated messages. So it gives us a chance of actually um, keeping mm -hmm. up. So, yeah, hello, folks. It, weird. We're looking at the camera, but we can't see what the camera oh, is doing. Oh, I can doing. see us now. You can see us. I can so, see us now. Look, there we are. That's what we look like. There we are. Oh, yeah, there we are. 36, folks. Um, oh, gosh. I don't know what happened with that previous live chat, guys. Yeah. It seems to have disappeared. It, 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 it's been a chaotic evening. I, I am literally just in from um, helping Tim. I'm covered in cobwebs. Hopefully <laughs> no spiders. Can't guarantee oh, it. Oh, um, So, yeah, it's been... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. It was kind of an experiment. The plum. I've, have we got plum hoodies on the t-shirt? I, I can't remember. So. On the store, I've got it. You know. yeah, my, my brain is absolutely <laughs> ruined. It's been a crazy, crazy day. Forty-four. There's loads of folks we've left over in the other chat. I don't know how to get them over. Well, that chat will have ended. It just ends. So, uh, yeah. Hopefully, they make uh, the way over. Diggity dang! Is the Pajero still getting worked on? Hopefully, next week. Yes. Uh, we're hoping. Um, Whiteland and especially uh, Mo will have some time to do some welding on it. Uh, we've been so busy, Dave's been so busy, it's yeah, made life been super busy. Um, well, it hasn't made life difficult, it's just meant the pajero oh, has been on the fine, just a bit like videoed on a potato. Oh no, oh no, <laughs> it looks quite good on your phone. This is the only way we can see it. The screen oh, in front gosh. of us completely blank. John North said, Yes, it went dead, and YouTube apologized. Oh, so maybe YouTube. it was enough, yeah. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Yeah, it's been crazy. But, yeah, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the premiere. I watched a bit of it at the side of the road in Giselle and then realised that we were going to do a live stream, so I then had to get home. And uh, all the temporary traffic lights everywhere. Oh, uh, Sid, Sid. Thank, thank you very, you very much. much. Yes, we have seen Cecilia's for sale. Mm. Um, replacement for Bella, that thought has actually crossed our mind, but uh, it's strong money, but justifiably strong money because, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it's it's had strong money so for us. Much work. I don't think it's strong money for the car. No, and, it isn't. Uh, I no. don't think it in any way represents what Phil has spent on that car since. So no, um, Phil has been a fantastic owner for that car. It's, it's a yeah, shame. Yeah. Um, Andy says hi, Ian and Cardi from West Yorkshire. I saw someone spotted Giselle. Um, showed a car and trailer in the front. Hope the car is okay. Oh, oh, yeah, it's not Giselle. So uh, she's been spotted on the Cars You Don't See Anymore website. Uh -huh. um, Giselle is fine. The trailer was unrelated. The trailer Giselle. was unrelated to Giselle. <laughs> Giselle has been helping today with a collection caper that wasn't ours. So yeah. So that's why I'm back in. Have I still got this microphone on? Um, no. So uh, Cecily is up for £3,250, but that car has had ridiculous amounts of work done. The magnet is in my top somewhere. We'll find it another time. <laughs> oh, it's just that's the chaos. I've got microphones Can you everywhere. Hear us okay, because this is the first time we've really, um, yeah, we've never done a live stream on the Chromebook. The Chromebook. But uh, this stream turned out to be a messy start, it certainly did. It's been utter chaos, and now I'm thinking this was a really bad idea. And what we're actually doing is taking views away from a collection caper that um, people should be watching. So that's the new car. 
this, I've this never is your positivity. This is just a live stream that was meant to be discussing the premiere we just had for the um uh the new car, but it's all gone very hard. It really has. So um yeah. <laughs> Nick C, how did Tanagroys feel about you beating them to that smart? Well, Tanagroys actually do have one or parts of one. Yeah, they do. Um, so we've already looked into that, but the concern is obviously with the alternator seizing in a, um, in a matter of a few months. Yeah, and it, it may be that the, that's the case with the one that they've got, but also um, they don't like the wet. Apparently, the alternator. They don't. So ideal car for whales. Then is the smart getting a name? Not dangerous, sure yet. Dangerous Not business. Sure yet. Oh, Give hello, names. Chops. Nice to see you. Oh yeah, Chops is in the chat. Hello, Chops. I was having a sneaky look at his website earlier. He's got a lot of cars to sell. You know, as well, funny enough. Mm. <laughs> so driving the crossblade led to this, says Matthew Leroux. Leroux? 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 Mm. Um, yes. Yes, <laughs> I, uh, I actually messaged the bloke. The bloke had already contacted me. He actually spoke to me at Rustable and offered me the car. So hello, Nick, if you're watching. And, uh, yeah, I, I was um, taken with the idea, but then... Um, we were going off to Italy and he messaged while I was in Italy and then I got back, drove a smart crossblade and then immediately messaged him and said, we'll have it. <laughs> so uh, there is no hope for me. Hello, Alabama in the USA. And um, John North says, you made sure we would follow you here by not telling us how much you paid for the smart. It was free um, with the proviso that it, it stays on the road. So Yeah, unfortunately it doesn't want to be on the road, but we will it make will it. Want to be we'll on make it want, will to, be want to be on the road. Uh, spark plugs, I think it's had spark plugs before the MOT, all six of them. <laughs> Why well, it needs six, I don't know. Six spark plugs? Six spark plugs. It's a twin spark engine. So basically it's an Alfa Romeo. <laughs> okay, yeah. okay. Uh, so yeah, that that... that, that that, that bit's been done, but uh, the alternator is a pain. It's a pain to get off, uh, and it's a pain because they seize. We may be able to free it off, but I'm not guaranteeing it. But um, I will just say I have a battery on the way. I was speaking to the lovely people at Tainer today, Tainer Batteries, and uh, they are sending us um, an 012 battery. Wow. That's so, very good of them. Thank you very yes, much, Tainer. Um, Chop says, oh, what did you like for the website? Sure, I can knock a pound off. <laughs> yeah. I'm not saying <laughs> well, we're probably in the market for a teenager car, aren't we, at some point? Yeah. <laughs> but I saw the Volvo. I've been near Tim's XC70 again. So whoa, 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 yeah. whoa. Oh, hello, Charlie. Thank you very much. So Remember for 12 months. You have just told the world you've got a new car. Yeah. And now you want another new car. Yeah. No. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can't be any yeah, worse than a Rover 75 Stop alternator. making weird noises at neighbours. I feel like it's it, much worse. I feel like it could be challenging. It's though, much worse. Scenario. There is no access. You have to <laughs> actually lower the engine. Diego. Oh, <laughs> oh Lester, thank you. Thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. Sorry, the dog is making the oddest Weirdest noises in noises. the background. I don't know if you yeah. can hear him. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Chops Brabus Roadster sees its alternator sitting in this lovely dry unit. Oh, they just seize up. Oh, crikey. Very uh -huh. good design, eh? Ah, bonjour, France. This might have so much practical than a version without a windscreen. Absolutely, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, that wasn't yes. ideal. Oh, gosh. James, who is a huge 75 fan, fan said the Rita Saga was exactly why I avoided buying a diesel 75. Yeah, the alternator and the petrol <laughs> one's just up there in your face. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, unfortunately, the smart is even worse. Uh, indecisive. Are you trying to offload oh, yeah. a certain vehicle by <laughs> no headlamp wipers, no dice? <laughs> well, nor is the XC70 to be fair, it's just got the spray ones. Oh, maybe the next car needs to be a K car. I bet that would get a yes, obviously. Mm -hmm. Obviously, yeah. Jago, um, stop making weird Pentagram noises. Pentagram Motorsport, can I say, I just love your TikTok. You've got some really, really good content on there. <laughs> Jago, I think next door's dog's out. <laughs> Stop it. Oh. Loming dog. Uh, da, 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 da. Volvo T5 engine in a smart. That would be a challenge. Mm. That was very, very um, uh, difficult. Diego uh, wants you to buy more cars. <laughs> yes, Tony, he is very much keeping us safe. Oh, Chops is telling us all the things that went wrong with his brother's roadster. Oh, great. great. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. 
Uh, which cars are going? Oh, ah. I don't think we should say until they've gone. So, um, so we don't get petitions. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I think cars do need to go. So interesting. Smart is from two thousand one, not two thousand six, because it has the key start. The two thousand six has a start button. No, it's definitely a two thousand and six. Uh, two thousand and one will be the those. year of pre facelift ones with the um, squarer headlamps. Uh, I don't think any of our smarts had the um, starter button on the first generation. Maybe it's a right hand drive thing. I don't know. Interesting. I'm pretty sure they're all on a key. <laughs> Could be wrong. Maybe it's not, but it's, it's certainly on an 06 plate. Hello, Canada. All the best with the new car. Diego, what yeah, are you thank doing? You. Oh, Cold War Motors. Oh, my gosh. Look at the legends we've got in here. Oh, Cold no. War Motors, Chops Garage. Anyone else? Chops, Shifting Metal. I don't know if he had or has an L251 charade in either the lilac or the pink. I saw it in the background on his TikTok. I'm now being sniffed because I smell of disgusting old garage where I spent the day with Tim. Video to follow. Oh, Last of the Roses had a red start button on the gear lever. Cool. There, there is. Uh, someone tell Aging Wheels to join in. That would be a very good oh, idea. Yeah, that'd be Robert very cool. would be very welcome. I was exchanging messages with him. Just yesterday. In fact. Ah, speaking of former fleet members, we've uh, had Fox and Fox. Uh, no, no, I don't, don't want to kiss. <laughs> we have to talk about consent. Oh, dear. Mike Cleesby says Bonnie is grumbling at whatever Diego has been muttering at. Yeah. Obviously, the dogs of the world are offended. Yeah. Uh, Robin Giles, I thought the engine blew up at 100k. Uh, I think that's the earlier 599 ones. This is a 698, I think. I think they're a bit more robust. It's done, I think, 64,000 miles, but I can't actually check. Because uh, we've got no battery on it. Yeah, despite this. Um, Sorry about the dog from, that's just now dominating the, proceedings. Apart from the previous um, MOT fail, which led to the MOT it's currently got, it seemed to have quite a clean bill of health. Yeah. yeah. So um, it looks quite solid in the wheel arches and whatnot. Could be burnt that bit, him. Yeah, there's one bit I started pressing and then stopped myself. Don't press that bit. Don't press that no, bit. No, no, we know. No. Don't poke. <laughs> and it's one of those things that's hidden by the wheel arch liner. So an MOT tester is never going to see that spot. Oh. They're not allowed to remove them. Scragnet says, um, even everyone, Marley is once again trying to talk to Diego. You famous, Diego. Yeah, famous. <laughs> uh, bah, 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 bah. Adam Henderson had bought a roadster in 2005, still has it. Done one cool. alternator change. It's tight but not impossible. Okay, that's yeah. good. That's, that's good That's encouraging. News. Yeah. That is good news. What's planned for Tuck Fettlin? Uh, um, any tips on how you get the tension off the belt would be very welcome. Although we've cheated and cut the belt off which definitely removes the tension but <laughs> yeah, to, to get a new belt on i need to know how to tension it i can see a slide adjuster on the alternator yeah and didn't you say there more. was accessibility issues with regards to of course there is of course there to is. everything yeah question. silly question <gasps> oh cool chop says Ooh. he's got a 2003 honda civic 1.4 oh that sounds very lovely nice yeah, yeah. very nice <laughs> Yeah, that does sound very nice, but I think we're we're slightly overrun at the moment. <laughs> um, so Robin Giles, uh, little Miss Hubnut won't be learning it. She'll continue to learn in Shemi because it's semi-automatic, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're not sure where we stand. Oh, also, I think if I remember rightly, Smart Four Two is on the list of you can't do your testing. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, because of the visibility. Okay. So, but yeah, 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 yeah. Um, little Miss Hubnut's learning how to drive a manual, so the smart is no use whatsoever. No, even though she was like, Can I? <laughs> yeah, maybe one day, maybe one day. Paul Copton says, Don't pick it up, you'll only make it worse. Yeah, yeah, so we, we know this lesson, we know this lesson. <laughs> uh, Mike Cleesby is all about the motor engine swaps. Mm -hmm. So, um, no, not, not, not fancy. Ah, Semi autos count as full autos in the case of licensing. I think that's fair enough. Yeah, two pedals. I think that's fair enough. <laughs> if you get rid of some of the bigger cars, you can get more small cars, in, says Mr. Mocky. That's a very good point. But I, I, have, can't, I can't sell Betty. She's the I biggest of them all. I have a small car, so I'm fine. Mm. <laughs> Little Miss Hubnut does need a 2010 she or later. Does. You are quite right for her personal plate. She does. 2CV engine and a smart. Not sure I fancy that. Someone did put an A-series engine and gearbox in one, which is a bit weird. I'd have thought I had to would be the way to go myself. Uh, what, what, what are you inferring? We haven't got an engine, though. What are you inferring? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, Brothers V6 version. Hmm? 
excited. I wanted the Brabos back mm. in the day. Do the smart wipers have well, a triangle well, well. of doom? Not technically, no. Sid, 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 absolutely not. What? Myrtle and Shemi getting sold? Absolutely not. <laughs> Shemi is my faithful. She is. I'm trying Myrtle, not to mention Myrtle too is much. genuinely a difficult one. Ah, yes, because I have do not got need a plan that. Plan for Myrtle. Well, I don't think I have. You have. Oh, we've got a plan with what to do with her in the short term. Yeah, yes. but I think that could be a long term plan. Maybe. And maybe, maybe it's other different. fleet members could go that way. Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm so torn. But there's no, I mean, you can't keep everything because we are not millionaires and we don't have the space. We don't, right, Chuck, I, I would love the idea of a Hubnut Museum, but that's not happening anytime soon. Chop says, right, if my own content stopped procrastinating over finishing, remember there is never such thing as too many cars, just too little space. <laughs> okay, Chops, thank you very much. Have a good evening. <laughs> and a good luck with your content. Chops yep. Garage, really good channel to go and watch, guys. Mm -hmm. um, and um, on Insta and whatnot, he's very active as well. So, yes. Yeah. Oh, no way. In the PlayStation 2 game, The Getaway, the Brabus Smart Car is one of the cars you can drive in the game. Mm. Mm. Cold War Motors says, can't keep everything down. Cold War Motors, you have a lot more space over there, <laughs> generally, I think. Uh, the pressure on space here is such that trying to find parking space is just uh, an utter nightmare. So, uh, Lord Bungle, surprised we are not millionaires. Yeah, I know. Oh, fantastic. That's good to hear that Genevieve passed the uh, MOT. That's good stuff. Good stuff. Um, yeah, the, the wipers on a smart, they're, they're kind of clap handy ones. So there is a triangle, but I don't consider it a triangle of doom. But okay. It depends really whether there's a dribble of disappointment. I haven't had a chance to test it yet. Briefly had it running, didn't operate the wipers. What an idiot. Good evening to everybody who's just joining us. It's all gone a bit chaotic, which is nothing more than you would expect. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, is the first gen smart really so unreliable? I know um, first gen smarts have done lots of miles, but uh, I think they, as they age, they can take a bit of um, keeping going. They're, oh, excuse me, very tired. Yeah. Various electrical gremlins um, can strike, especially when there's been water ingress, mm. as has had water ingress. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but uh, th th there seem to be a lot of forums <laughs> and uh, Facebook groups. But um, yeah, seem to know their onions and yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll happily tell people uh, how to do things, even in America, where the smart is and very I think rare. we'll be okay with sort of um parts because uh, the gentleman who brought over the smart is clearing a yard that has several in it. Plus, we know Tanner Groys has got at least one in there. Yeah, yeah. So I think we'll be okay. Mm. Um, I'm loving all the um logic for how we would store more cars. Yeah, Nick C says. Buy vans and store the small ones in the back of them. Then you can oh, double the fleet. Good thinking. <laughs> and then if you had it, so your bed folded up inside, you drive the car in, you've got a camper. So we can get rid of Bob as well. I don't like how this conversation is going this evening. Uh, Phil P rightly points out no rear wiper action. That is a disappointment. But uh, you don't look a gift horse in the mouth. So um, we have a convertible with a roof that doesn't quite latch properly. So, Foxhound Follies and those that have not long joined us, what's happening with the Pajero? Pajero um, has just been waiting at Whiteland because they um, are super, super busy because they are super, super good at what they do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, but it's Yeah, so, be so going... stop, stop. Don't don't give Whiteland Restorations any more work. No. I don't think that's quite what No, no. Oh, okay. But uh, she is getting that, that welding done and then probably is coming back to us and then we will do... We, we, yeah. I will un do all the rust coating on the mm -hmm. underneath. <laughs> yeah, um, alternated prices, Rob McKenzie says, 95 to 200. I've been warned away from the cheap ones. Apparently, they often don't actually fit. But, uh, you know, we could try and revive the one that's there, but uh, I think um, that will be problematic. We'll, we'll see. Um, all things Alex uh, asks, what have, you, what have I missed? Well, there's a new fleet member. <laughs> there is a new fleet member. The video is available to watch. And this is no clash with it. I really did not think this through. It seemed like such a good it idea. Is, um... uh, when I thought it up earlier, but no, it's going wrong. Uh, da, da, da. All things, Alex. Hello, you fine folks. Just home from work and saw the announcement. What have I missed? Oh, yes. That's what I just said to you. Also, did you enjoy the Turin trip? Yes, very much. Um, well, what's weird is the first video I posted did really well for views. The second video. Not so much. So is that it? Are people bored of Turin? Which is a shame because I've got another video and a road test still to come from Turin. 
Yeah, uh, Matthew, I'm afraid this up. is one of my current favourite dresses. It's really comfy. <laughs> I really like yeah, there's it. There's a lot to be said for comfort. Yeah. Um, Fox Fans Polly says, no joke, I bought a Reliant kitten home in my Citroen Relay van. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. Uh, James says, he needs to downsize, or a barn, because there's other cars I'd like to <laughs> Exactly, exactly my problem. I can't just keep owning more and more cars, because the more cars you own, the less miles they tend to do, the more time they're spent sitting around, the more time they go wrong, because they're left sitting around. Especially as my unit is quite damp, so it's not the best place to leave cars sitting around for long periods. Interesting. Did the smart animators come out in the first year? Um, yes, I guess so. Been stable That's interesting. Yeah, yeah. They do look very good next to each other. Very, very different. I'm which I really say, like because you get upset when I insult Myrtle. Yeah, yeah. But I think the design of the smart is miles ahead. Mm. The, it is. Sorry, dearest. No. <laughs> At least the tax on the smart is cheap. Yep, that's another one, £35, yeah. pounds, same mm. as the Sherrod. Mm. Isn't there a certain generation of smarts that's 20? No, not anymore. Oh, bad times. Uh, well, maybe later ones. But weirdly, if you have a tuned one, one of the Brabus ones, they're like £150 pounds a year instead of 30 Yeah, but you can see why. That There was a crazy little mm. things. <laughs> Uh, Johnny Manson had to look for the second video. Yeah, I'm sorry, we, we, we've made another mess of things tonight. I do apologize. <laughs> yeah. I'm loving where you're all stashing your cars. Yeah, I only have street parking and own two neighbors get unhappy. I've overflowed into a neighbor's double garage. He quite likes telling people he's had a lotus in there. Uh, Nick C, have you found insurance prices creeping up? Oh, yes, my insurance went up hugely this year until. I phoned my insurer and said, this is not acceptable, at which point they offered me about the same as last year. Mm. But um, I, I'm still in discussions with them because um, I would like to bring it down more. Uh, there are certain vehicles, you know, if we're selling vehicles, if vehicles have been parked up, maybe they don't need the insurance. This is very loaded, boyfriend. Yeah. I don't think you should be saying these no, things. No, we'll, we'll, we'll stop now. <laughs> oh, no. And a dull man says, I've said before, you need a Volvo in your life. Yeah. Oh, insurance is <laughs> another pain. Uh, I can't insure uh, you on anything. No. I can't just add you to my policy. We're looking at short-term insurance so we can do the driving videos. Um, and uh, there was a problem. Yeah, we've had problems with Little Miss Hubner as well. I couldn't, yeah. I couldn't add her we, she's to on our existing policy. policy. Isn't she? Yeah, yeah. That's the, the easiest way to do it. Yeah. Um, Marcus, so you can get you specific learner insurance. Ford Focus, they're brilliant cars. I definitely think the Mark 1 because they are yeah, disappearing yeah. fast. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of Mark 2s. I just find them a bit of a disappointment. I haven't quite got the edge of the Mark 1s and the styling's a bit frumpy. But then I think the Focus game started coming back up again and uh, they got stronger probably. I've never driven one, but I like the looks of them. Uh, best car to learn to drive in. Uh, Daihatsu, Shirad. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they are fantastic. The gearing is very kind. The uh, turning circle is, is very mm. kind. So, yeah, yeah they are having very a nightmare good. of insurance. Everyone is having a nightmare of insurance this year. Uh, they claim old oh, cars are more expensive to repair now. So, uh, <laughs> so you've all got to pay through the nose. <laughs> Oh, Even Lord though I don't Bunga. own new cars, it seems a bit Lord Bunga says, I've just been gifted a parking spot for another four cars. Evil laugh them. <laughs> oh, no. So that's the Bungle Cave, six cars, the lock-up, one car, and now the other. <laughs> yeah, it just gets out of hand, though. And uh, I'd, I'd say having a YouTube channel makes it even worse because you lot love a collection caper. So the pressure is there to do more collection capers. Yeah. And before you know it, you've just got way too many cars because I hate selling cars. I really actively dislike it. But um, we are going to have a bit of a clear out and get rid of some. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> sorry, I'm just chuckling. It's so funny that everybody's in the same boat with the hiding cars all over the place scenario. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, oh, Toyota Perseo seems to be a, a topic of conversation. Marty Cooper says, never, That's weird because we saw just bought a Toyota Perseo. Yesterday. Never heard of them before. Looks like yesterday. a baby. Yes. No, it wasn't. No, it was day, day before. before. <laughs> yeah. Perseo convertible, even. Yes, mm. yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, smart's frightening <laughs> on the motorway. Possibly. I've never driven one on the motorway. But uh, one day, hopefully we will. One day, hopefully I will. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the insurance is a, is a bit... 
it's a frustration, isn't it? Yeah. And people are finding they're not getting the service either. People no, are oh, awaiting my, my callbacks and not getting hopeless. the callbacks. Yeah, yeah. I, I, it took 24 hours to get the I'll call you in one hour callback earlier today. And I haven't been able to call them because I've been busy. So that's another day gone. Ooh. Need a took versus smart video. Okay. Ah, now that's interesting. Aid Reed says all smarts are classed as body color of silver. Semi interesting fact. This one. Well, is even the fact. ones that have a black safety cell. Yeah, but this one is registered as silver. It is. Yeah. Yeah. I, and quite, it's I, I don't red. like the red, so we'll change it. I like the red. Or it's quite badly faded. I was thinking I could make it. Um, they did one called numeric blue, and it's got oh, loads of numbers in it. Oh, yes, yes. So I could just get some tea cut and write some numbers on it. No. And it'll look amazing. Or there is one in there. Oh, I can never remember what numeric blue is it. Numeric blue. Numeric blue that that floats around here. We could just go and borrow some panels. And they might notice. Around. They might notice. They'll just go, hold on. That one used to be red and is now blue. <laughs> Those look like my panels. That's not a good idea. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, we're not going to have the smart wraps hub at orange. Wrapping is something we could perhaps look into. Do you know, I was talking to Leanne about wrapping because okay. she wants to turn it into a cosy coupe. Oh, yes. And she said that we should do the wrapping, which will only end well, I feel. Yes. <laughs> that doesn't sound very wild in restorations at all, wrapping stuff rather than painting. <laughs> I think she wants to see you do it. That's what it is. <laughs> oh, right. That will be a complete disaster. Can you imagine? <laughs> you, I think you need a certain level of patience to, to wrap a car, and I have none. Oh, just cover it with hub nut stickers. Still yeah, idea. yeah. Stick a bomb the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's an idea. It's not near us. It's covered in astroturf, says Andrew Tolly. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. We saw a... Was it a Focus covered in... It was, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Covered in astroturf. Oh, Fablon. Wood oh, effect. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Yeah, that's... Oh, Craigie, that's a throwback. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fablon. Craigie. Oh, that's good to know. David Swindle said, I had three smarts. Loved them. Mm -hmm. Engines are not durable. Blue, two engines before 100,000. Oh, I've got miles to 100,000. And we've got a spare Daihatsu engine. I'm sure we can make Will it you fit. stop with the Daihatsu yeah, yeah. engine? <laughs> Cover it in Welsh slate. Yeah, it could be a bit heavy. They're quite light cars, mm. I mean, which is good because we're having to push it around. Chocolate now, orange it? wrapper. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like that idea. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Domino's delivering with a Renault Twizy. There is a local Renault Twizy around here as well. Mm. Um, I don't know if it's changed hands recently, but we know where it currently is. Mm, we do. <laughs> Uh, I think Smart's problem is their robotized gearbox. Well, that's kind of why I wanted to get it because if I drive it for an hour, like, like I do in my usual tests, I don't really get a chance to get a proper feel for it and mm. tell whether it's actually Excuse any good or not. One second, I'm going to scratch my nose. Okay. <laughs> She's off to scratch her nose. Is that a euphemism? I don't no, know. No, genuinely. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Uh, what was I saying? Gearbox. Uh, gearbox. Yes. Um, yeah, I, I just want to spend more time with one and get to um, really get used to it. I, the last smart experience I had, um, this was back when I lived in Northamptonshire, I borrowed an Americ Blue convertible for 24 hours to see how I got on not with it. Not that you're obsessed with that design at all. No, not at all. And, uh, yeah, it is a problem because it's actually a three-speed gearbox with two different final drives. So it goes one, two, three, and then it goes one, two, three with the second final drive. So uh, it's incredibly complex. I'm amazed they um, put quite so much effort into it. Uh, the Pajero Mini, it's not a Mini, it's a Junior. It's bigger. Um, it has not gone. It is just awaiting its time, and that time is hopefully next week. Yeah, yeah. Um... Uh, at all things Alex says, having seen several Twingos at Russell, I'm quite taken on finding one. Twingos I are lovely. happen to know an absolutely stunning yeah, one. Yeah, we know a really nice it's purple sold. one. Oh, it's gone. Are we talking Chris's? Yeah, yeah. It's sold. Oh. Yeah, it's actually probably been picked up already. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, there you go. Twingos, good. Nice pantograph wiper. Uh, have <laughs> you tried the roof mechanism yet? No. <laughs> no, we're waiting for the new battery to arrive. and. Um, I don't even know. I haven't even read the manual. I mean, do you do it with the ignition on? Can you operate the roof with the engine running? I have no idea. <laughs> Andrew says, hi, Inakali from Melbourne. Can I mention another YouTube channel if I can? You certainly can. There's a young American lady fixing 1965 Falcon with her dad, Ellesmere Garage. Okay, Ellesmere Ooh, Garage. Look at that. There's yeah. so many channels. 
Don't try drifting. We will not. They drift. spin almost instantly, ended up going backwards down the mountainside. Pass, okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll try and avoid that. that. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> ah, hello, number 27. Yeah, thank you nice very much. Nice to see you. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, as soon as we decided that belt was coming off, that was it then. Yeah, yeah. That, that was kind of committing to not driving the car. Yeah. But um, and and I did think, well, can we get tools here? Can we actually do it on this bloke's driveway? No. But no, no. We just said, and can I just say a huge thank you to the family that gave us this car because they were so kind and so lovely, and very patient and so helpful. Yeah, yeah. Um, and they just want to see it on the road. So, thank a huge thank you to them. Mm -hmm. Since when did Hub not read a manual? He doesn't. <laughs> Busted. Uh, have you tested to see if the smart car will fit in the back of Bella? I don't think it'll quite I think it's go. too high. Yeah, yeah. Too tall. Mm -hmm. uh, Lightbulb Fun asks why the alternator locks up. It's probably because it's right at the bottom of the car, right next to the rear wheel, which mm. in hindsight was a really stupid idea. It has a plastic shield to protect it. But um, I think because it's that much further back, it cops a lot more spray than a similarly located alternator at the front. So, yeah, they just fill it with water, yeah. basically. Not yeah. ideal. Uh, just take the wheels off. I, I don't think we're going to test putting be the smart in Bella. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's not happening. Um, Angus fucking says, amazing to see so many Citroens at Bristol, more than I've probably seen in probably 30 years. Yeah, that was an incredible yeah, selection yeah. of... Uh, more visas than I think I've ever been seen at a show. Yeah, and one did change hands at the show. It did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one of several deals done. Um, at or immediately after Rustable. Yeah, yeah, which was cool. Two of my friends turned up and uh, ended up swapping, swapping cars. cars. <laughs> what cars was it? Uh, it was the Alfa Romeo 166. Yeah. And a Nissan Primera P10. Okay. The absolute mint yeah, yeah. of uh, has been seen quite often at um, Festival of the Unexceptional. <laughs> uh, I believe there was a cash adjustment. I'm not going into the details of that for um, their own privacy reasons. But, yeah, they, they drove in one car and drove home in another. Fantastic. Yeah. Mark Hewlis says, how does it compare in size to Chemi or Myrtle? It's not it looks enormous smaller, next it? to Myrtle, but I think that's because the windscreen is so much closer to me when I'm taking the photo. Because you think they're really small, but actually it's it's not that they're two and a half metres okay, it's, long, it's, I believe. It's not that or small is that the wheelbase? when we drive small cars, if that makes mm. sense. They are very, very short. Uh, get ramps, put it on top of Bob. Throw it on top of Bob. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure Bob would love that. I'm not sure Bob would love yeah. that. Oh, she's studying at Cardiff University. Hey, oh, I tell you what, we'll find her and drop her a message because she should definitely join yeah, the WDSC. What, yep, she should. The Work Women Driver well, Social just Club. Screen grab it. I've just got. Oh, guys, I don't know what's going on. Just sit there scratching your nose. And I don't I'll, know. It's really I'll try itchy. And capture the details. <laughs> Where, where's that comment gone? This is Elsmere so Garage, darling. Okay. Uh, beep, 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 beep. There it is. Uh, love the 90s. Now look at this photo. I'll go, well, we'll take a photo of the Much nostalgia as it was exactly the same one as I had. Oh, that's mm. lovely. I like the GS van, and I think that belongs to the same folks who've got the famous traveling C5 that's covered in stickers mm. and uh, does lots of charity stuff. That was awesome. Uh, will the smart be ready for the social? <laughs> I very much doubt it. <laughs> And uh, you lot would be very disappointed if we bought it. They'd be like, well, where's the merch? And we're like, well, we've got two mugs and a T-shirt. I hope it's your size. It would not be ideal. Oh, God. I mean, we could convoy, but convoying um, means we can't share the driving because we both got to drive a car all the way there and back. And it's quite a long drive. So it's like, what it's car like are three we and taking half hours. to the social? I have absolutely no idea. Well, you know the car that I can currently drive unless we do some driving over the next week or so. Yeah, but... Not only are we doing that, we're probably picking the Hublets up on that <laughs> trip. So Shems is not the one. <laughs> but so it might have to be Betty. Why don't we take two cars? We could take two cars. Let's Maybe take we'll take two, two cars. cars. We'll see. But yeah, it, it does um, cost obviously a fair bit in fuel. Not mine. Well, yeah, if we don't take Betty, if we take two cars, it's probably the same fuel bill as if we just took Betty. Elle's Garage. Thank you, Andrew. Yeah, it'd be lovely if she comes and joins us in the Women Drivers Social Club. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so Andy, someone or other, uh, H1302 is saying, very proud his car didn't feature in a single Rustable video or picture gallery. 
Well, come on, you got to tell us what car it was, because uh, we we've seen another video. And that what? Haven't we? What? We've seen Indecisive's video, and that was we very have. comprehensive. We have, and also, in recent times, there's been numerous. I did always go to one of those. In numerous in recent times, there's been numerous videos, really comprehensive stuff. So yeah, I yeah. reckon, I reckon it will be out. Some, there. Someone will have got it. I guarantee it. Uh, get a smart size trailer and tote with Bessie. Yeah, that would be expensive. Uh, our friend in Greece was asking about um, how much Betty costs to tax. Yeah, I saw that. Not that much, really. She's just over three hundred pounds a year, which is about the same as Bella. Um, but uh, here, it's nothing to do with capacity. It's all based on emissions. I don't know how to know what Betty's emissions are. They don't. They this, don't. I mean, this is why she could get into London, which is a bit weird. Oh, she can't anymore. <laughs> I think they've closed that. Oh, they changed that now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, who's going to be fitting the shocks to Betty? Is that us? I think we were going to try and I do that. I think that's we us. We really, really need to go on that. We were hoping to go away in Bob very soon. But A, I think we left it a bit late. Easter, you know, people go away a lot, so nowhere's available. And B, campsites are absolutely sodden at the moment, which is... Um, because we've just had endless rain. There just hasn't been any dry weather. And the idea of getting Betty stuck on a campsite, we almost got stuck on the last one. Another car did. That silver yes, Mercedes got yes, stuck yes. and had to be rescued. Uh, but I haven't got any towing points that I can find on the front of Betty. So I really, really don't want to get her stuck. Uh, so, yeah, it, it's um, problematic. But, Bungo, was I aware you've got a Velsatis? I don't think I was aware of that. Yeah, uh, Zach asks whether import taxes are based on the pre-2001 tax. I have absolutely no idea. Uh, Sid's going on about um, Betty's saggy bottom. She it does have a saggy, saggy bottom. bottom. She yeah. does. Excuse yeah. Me. Where are you going now? I've, I've got to do something about this nose. I don't know why. Rip it off, maybe. I think I'm allergic to something. Oh, is it all the spider's webs I'm covered in? It might be the dust. Yeah. Oh, dear. Uh, da, 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 da. In case that sounds dodgy, I've just stuck antihistamine up my yeah. nose. <laughs> Was it really smarty? And asks Peter Van Hecker. Um, probably not. No. Welcome to Hubnut. We never do anything smart. Uh, Katie, I'm not. When I go to New Zealand next winter, how best to acquire a Betty? Uh, find my friend Chris and buy his car, but he wasn't even planning to sell. That's what worked for me. Uh, but there are, there are classified websites over there. But um, I don't know if there are any Facebook groups for um, sort of Kiwi, but Aussie Ford or... fans. I don't know. Oh, I would think so. They're becoming a little iconic, aren't they? Yeah. But that's an awesome idea. I would definitely recommend getting a Betty and driving it around New Zealand. Uh, Timo, did you see Late Break Show? Of course we saw Late Break Show. Uh, ice racing in two CVs. And I really, really want to go. And Miss... Miss Hubnut's coming as well because she's run off, so she can't um, deny it. She will be involved. She especially liked the bit with a huge ravine at the side of the track. So, um, yeah, next year, let's go ice racing. Uh, da, 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 da. You can get Betty stuck on every type of surface. Yes, yes, she's, <laughs> she is hopeless. Paul Compton's off the cook. Envious. We are. Um, we don't seem to have any dinner yet. No, we don't! No. Uh, 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 Proctor's on about road tax going up. Yeah, it is. It's going up fairly steadily, and uh, we're not we're not um, enjoying very good roads as a result of it either. Oh roads goodness are me, no! Horrendous. There's a horrific bit of road by us in Landis. Well, coming out of Landis, well, Landis Hill Bypass, which they've just resurfaced, yeah. thankfully. But that was horrendous. It was actually better when they scraped the top surface off. I think it was, but it was an worryingly. The potholes were that significant that they still existed when they'd taken off the yeah, surface. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, very bad. Right, have you sorted your nose out now? Yeah, I think I'm allergic to you, mate. Great. <laughs> Taking you almost five years to discover that. <laughs> no, it's because you've been somewhere funny. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, so with regards where he's been today, that's going to be some exciting um, content as well. It is. You and Tim have found Yeah, and your, apparently um, we got spotted. You did. Presumably with an empty trailer. Yes, I think it, the way it looks, I've seen the picture because somebody said you're about to get tagged a million times. Okay. Um, I think that it looked almost as if 
Giselle was being rescued. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, Giselle was not being rescued. Giselle has been running marvellously since I moved one little wire that got too close to the dizzy cap. Oh. So, uh, because um, Friday night we took the Hublets uh, to their dads and uh, the weather was horrendous at times. Absolutely hammering. It was like proper 50 miles an hour, feels a bit quick on the motorway sort of rain. And Giselle was absolutely fine, didn't miss a beat. Get a 4x4 four four kangoo, great for towing. Yeah, I'd be up for yeah. that. Oh, Mr. Bucket, I know it's not road tax, but still, if they're going to take money off you for driving your car, you would have thought they could have gone, oh, well, maybe we should spend some of this on the road. Oh, mate of mine's got a Monaro and tax is £700. Oi. Ooh. Ah, Peter Van Hecker's CX Tissier. That's one of those massive I know what ones. it is, yeah. Oh, I'd love one of those. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that would be perfect. There was one for sale over here. But the problem is, any for sale over here have probably been parked up for ages because people hate driving them. I don't think they're very much fun to What's drive that, the... on tiny roads. Mm, Massive six, six wheel. Enough yeah, yeah. On the big roads. Is the fleet going to get smaller? That is well, a sort of. loaded question. The latest acquisition is smaller. <laughs> that's what they mean. Is that not what they mean? I don't think that's what they mean. Yeah. Old Kitch on the C6 tax. Yeah, that's really high as well. Yeah. On the... Oh, the Dion rear suspension on the Smart. Fancy. Mm. We need to know a little bit more about the Smart. I don't I don't feel like I know enough yet. No, I don't know very much because it arrived in the dark last night and just got shoved away. Yeah. I know I used to play with the website and rotate mm. them and put the, all the spec that I wanted on them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. how much to tax and insure an MCW Mark 1 Metro bus? Well, the Mark 1 Metro bus will be over 40 years. And I think the historic applies to commercial and public service vehicles as well. So it should be free tax. Mm. Therefore, we must get a Mark 1 Metro bus. An interesting logic. Mm -hmm. And let me guess, if you take seats out, you can put small cars in it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, thinking, Alex, given that you see a lot of smarts being towed behind motorhomes on an A-frame, is that part of your larger plan? Yes, Bob's <laughs> going for scrap and we're going to replace no, him Bob with a motorhome. No, Bob is not. Bob no? is absolutely not. Yeah. The problem is, you can buy a Bob for £500. You can't buy a motorhome for £500. No. And if you can, no. you don't want to sleep in it. But also, it's the layout of Bob that we've always said mm. is the absolute winner with Bob is the fact of that, um, the fact you've got dining space separate to your bed space. Um, yeah, yeah. You don't have to move things around at night. So, yeah, really good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> On the subject, oh, Andy H hates metro buses, prefers down the fleet lines. Are you Fuzz Townsend in disguise? Because <laughs> Fuzz very much said the same to me. We used to work in the same office building. And uh, he was always going, no, 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 you don't want a Metro bus. Uh, Chris, metro the style driver medicines on the allergy thing. My girlfriend is always the first to tell me if I've been anywhere near cats or horses or a vehicle. Been anywhere near horses. Oh, I've been near a horse today. I've been uh, near a cat today. Okay, then. And I've been near many, many spiders. Okay. Well, mm. none of this is good news, plus dust. <laughs> yeah. Well, I still like Metro buses. I don't care what you think. They're the bus of my childhood and the asymmetric split windscreen and the Mark 1s. We Beautiful. know you love the bus content, folks. There may well mm. be bus content coming yeah, up Yeah, yeah, hoping to film some very soon. Mm. It kind of feels like the year is finally Yeah, starting. we've got some really good stuff. We've just, just done a collection yeah. caper. You've just done a, a barn find, actually a barn find, not mm -hmm. actually our car. And um, you're doing bus stuff soon. Yeah, so oh, yeah, um, good, good times, good times. Uh, Tuck versus smart car, smart car, not to sixty. Very different driving experiences, not to sixty. Because mm. in Tuck, you just open the throttle, she goes way. <laughs> Whereas the smart is like, yeah, mm, yeah, mm. so um, yeah. Sorry, sorry. What was I it? think there's a perfect demonstration actually of what a smart's like. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, oh James, James preferred buses. Titans. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I saw a Titan in Melbourne, which was unexpected. Mm. But then I saw a Route Master in New Zealand in the middle of nowhere as well. So buses get all over the place. Yeah, I think I think um, bus buses are definitely good content to come up. Yeah. <laughs> ah, Fuzz actually repaired Andy's bus when it broke oh. down because Fuzz used to work at the garage. Yeah, he used yeah. to work on the buses, and Andy used to drive the buses. A fire truck road test would be cool. Yes. Yeah, we have been speaking to Laurie about trying to make that happen, but 
the the I can drive a bus that's over 30 years old on my car license. This is a, a weird thing that is allowed. As long as it's not more than eight passengers, <laughs> so you're not actually full of people, I can drive a bus over 30. It's that simple. The same does not apply to historic vehicles, or if it oh, – trucks, rather. Or if it does, I think it's 1960. So, um, yeah, I don't know many people – with old old trucks who'd be willing to let me drive one. But there are some unusual fire trucks out there. Yeah, there are. Um there's one that I, I follow on Twitter on small is it small truck Tuesday or something? There's mm-hmm. a little fire truck that keeps turning up like a little K fire truck. Too adorable. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you need a front engine bus for converting for car carrying. Yeah, yeah. Volvo B ten M maybe. You can have a nice big ramp up into the back. This is escalating. Yeah, yeah. This is escalating massively. Mm-hmm. The only known surviving <laughs> reverse control AC CDs somehow ended up in Australia. Well, things do. Oh, indecisive. Just a heads up on your rest of all footage. We have talked over it. Yeah, we, we have. <laughs> what I haven't done yet is actually match the words to the video. Uh, so that might be a bonus um, at some point. More rest of all footage. But the bit the I cars seen, we didn't see, like everything. Oh, everything. no, I mean, my nose is going. I think I've got dust on my nose. Probably should have taken this hoodie off, to be fair. Before you came in and poisoned me. Yeah, I've just come running into the house, <laughs> and the hoodie that is just covered in all sorts of schmutz and nastiness because <laughs> we dug two cars out today. But one was parked up, we think, in 1997. Oh, crazy. And the other one in 2001. Was that the one that was a little less keen to go, the 97 one? No. No? No, it was oh, the more wow, recent okay. one. Was the least less okay. reluctant one to go? Oh. Uh, how much is, two wheels, four wheels says, how much is Betty's road tax given the DVLA have it down as zero emissions? Uh, yeah, she's not zero emissions, and it's just over £300 a year. I can't remember exactly. Oh, more bus information. B10M with Greek Sarakakis. Bodywork, I thought, were the best Greek buses oh, ever built. I was very perplexed and paramount on my Volvo B10, probably because it's the first bus I ever drove. You and your buses. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, uh, Mike Cleesby is going to go. We should probably go as well because we really need to eat some food. Also, you've killed me with your whatever. whatever. Yeah, I need to get out of these disgusting <laughs> clothes. Everything's got to go in the washing machine. And... Uh, but mostly eating. And then, if you haven't seen it already, um, go back to the channel li- list and uh, watch the video of the latest acquisition. It didn't go to plan. Uh, less than a save says, took compared to smart car, which one takes up more space on the road? Um, it depends in which regard. Smart cars, smart wider. cars wider took yeah. longer. Yeah. Took is three meters, which is the same length as a mini. Uh, I think the smarts are actually two and a half. So, um, very, very short. What's for dinner? Kev, I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, that's what makes this fun. <laughs> the spider's webs on. I know the spider webs on. This is, I literally walked through the door and did a live stream. It wasn't the best plan. Things took a little bit longer than I thought. Uh, can you imagine dragging two cars out of garages that they've sat in for 20 odd years? Oh, Griff, we know there are motorhomes. Yeah. You can get cars underneath. Yeah. We spent, oh, we love the motorhome and car. I just had a really good idea. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's a really good Has idea. Has he broken it? No, 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 I'm not breaking anything. You're not breaking think. it. Uh, I'm going to do this, get shareable link, and then I can just post. Oh, that's the wrong, oh, that's the wrong one. I see Annie's being swayed by uh, the smart. Right. The smart is extremely cute. We're going to go, folks. But you can click that link if you haven't seen the video already and go and give it a watch and leave us a comment, and that will be lovely. <laughs> uh, hello, Annie. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very jealous. Yeah, no, she's, no, oh, she's, she's a Tuck fan. Oh, no. She's a Tuck fan, and she's been swayed by the smart car. Oh, okay. Mm. Well, we all like different things, and there we go. So, um, oh, Harrington Legionnaires. Nice. So, thank you, everybody, very much for watching. Yeah. It's so strange that we can't see we, we still, I was just completely <laughs> There's blank a little screen. blue light, so it's Yeah, obviously... that tells us the camera is know. actually working. And I don't know what the sound's like, either. We haven't got mics no or idea. anything. No Nothing. idea. Yeah. Utterly chaotic. So sorry it's been utterly chaotic, and thank, thank you for you your guys. support. Thank you, and, and uh, yeah. we shall see you again at some point. How, how do I end it? Oh, that one. No, the big end stream. Bye. Bye. Oh, we're still hovering. <laughs>